A common problem for newcomers to photography for either enlarging or large format is how do I get a lens onto a board or how do I change the lens from this camera to that camera? Welcome to the Naked Photographer where I'll be exposing myself. No, 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 I won't. Mm -hmm. I sound better in my head. So if you're new to enlarging, then you probably needed to get a new lens board for that new enlarging lens. Now, every type of enlarger takes a different kind of board. Sometimes it's within the same brand, like Bessler tends to use the same board for almost all of their enlargers. Uh, Devere, like what I have, also likes to use the same board for most of their enlargers. Uh, Omega, it depends on the model. If you're looking at large format cameras, just about every camera out there takes something a little bit different. Crown Graphic, for example, uses a little metal board like this, whereas Cinar uses a large board like this one here, but Lenhoff likes to use a small board. This is also used on pretty much most 4x5s nowadays uh, coming from China, such as Shen Hao, Chamonix, and a few others. Um, so if your lens doesn't come with one, or maybe it came on the wrong one, uh, a common question is, how do I get it on there? So we're going to look at the different ways that you might need to mount a lens onto a lens board for either your enlarger or onto your camera, or if need be, change from one type of board, if that's how it came, to a different type. So let's look at the nitty gritty here. So let's talk about the enlarging lenses first. Most of your enlarging lenses are going to have what's called an 39M or M39 mount. That's just a 39 millimeter width um, across the, uh, the threads. Now this is going to cover like your uh, 50 millimeter lens, your 80, 90. This is a 100 millimeter Schneider Componon S. La larger lenses like um, 150 millimeter, um, some of the 135s, 210s are going to have a 50 millimeter thread. Uh, there could also be 42 millimeter. Some of your older lenses may have something different, but most Schneider, Rodenstock, Nikon are going to have a 39 or a 50 millimeter mount. Now, to get these onto the board, you have usually three different methods. So most lenses are going to come with a retaining ring. So this is a threaded ring that just screws onto the mount part here. Let's get this turned so you can see. And so you would put the lens through the hole of the board. So you'd put it through and on the back, you would then thread this ring onto those threads and basically sandwich the board in between. That works fantastic. Um, to get this nice and tight, it does have little um, notches for screwdriver bits. You can use something like a lens wrench. Um, these work really well. To, uh, to get in there for different sizes. So I throw it around. So this is most likely how you'll mount to, um, to like a Bessler or a Mega board. If you're really lucky, the board itself may have threads. This particular one does. So I really just screw it into the hole And that's it. It's now mounted. I don't have to do anything else. If it didn't have the threads, then the retaining ring would work. Um, and you just put it on there and hold it. Now, option number two would be to have what's called a flange. Now, the larger lens, it functions with that. So rather than the lens go through the hole and then tighten uh, on the back side with the retaining ring, the flange is actually mounted to the lens board. So the lens board has just a smooth hole cut all the way through. 
the flange fits into the hole. Um, there's a lip on the back that goes through the hole. And then you put three, four, however many holes are on the flange. Like this one has three, this one has four. Um, you thread those holes and then use screws to hold the flange on. And then the lens attaches to that. Such as this. So this is um, the third method. It's very secure. Most of your large lenses are probably going to work with this rather than a threaded hole um, or a retaining ring. Most of them like this is the 150 it has it my 300 millimeter lens for 8x10 negatives has it it's pretty standard way so <clears throat> flange retaining ring or threaded lens board are going to be your three options um, and removing them is really just the reverse so if you purchased a lens and it came on a board like this but you need it on the square Bessler just remove it put this on the Bessler board by either screwing it into the threaded hole or putting it through an open hole and using a uh, retaining ring to keep it on there. If you want it a little more secure, you can use a flange. Uh, some lenses come with these, or you can purchase them on eBay or B&H and attach it <clears throat> and then screw the lens onto there. You may find yourself in a situation where you've got a board, say for example this one, and it's got a standard 39 millimeter hole, but maybe you have an older lens that um, is smaller. In which case, you can try to find another board, make the hole, and do all that, or you can actually get, for not a lot of effort, these little things. And I found these on eBay pretty commonly. Um, and it's an, ad an adapter. So it's got the 30 mi 39 millimeter thread here. And you put it in there and now this is a smaller hole. So if I wanted to put this lens, which has the 39 mount, on this lens board that has the 50 mount, I could get a 50 to 39 adapter, screw it in, and then be able to put that on there. Large format. The basic premise is actually a lot like the enlarging lens. You have the lens in a shutter, um, it goes through a hole, and then you have a retaining ring, hold it on there. But there are a couple of extra steps. Now most of the modern lenses that come in the Copal brand shutter, um, whether it's a Copal Zero like this, a larger one, or the largest size three, they're all going to use retaining rings. Some of the older American style um, American style lenses that come in the Ilex brand shutters use more of the retaining ring system. So this would be attached to the board and then the lens screwed into that. Um, but for modern Copal lenses, you just have a smooth, um, smooth through hole. The lens goes through it and then a retaining ring on the back. So. Uh, if you get something in this situation where you need to mount or remove the lens from one brand of board and move to another, then you're going to do the following. So unscrew the back element of the lens, take some kind of tool, I'm using a um, uh, lens wrench. Uh, spanner wrench has worked as well. I'm just going to remove the retaining ring. And then set that aside. Take your new lens board, the one that you're going to use for the, uh, the new camera, and then put this on. Now you'll notice this hole fits pretty tight. The retaining ring actually has a little lip on it on one side, smooth on the other. This lens board fits fairly tight, so I'm gonna use the smooth side uh, to 
butt up against the back of that. The lip, however, actually fits into this camera uh, lens bore's hole because the hole is slightly oversized. If you find yourself in that situation, that's typically how you want to do that. All right, so tighten this back down on the new board. And use your wrench. What I like about these is it tells you size zero, size three, size one, that sort of thing. So easy to figure out what to use. All right, and then reattach this. Be careful not to cross thread. You never get them apart if you do. All right, that's it. So now this would go on to the, uh, the new camera. So it's that simple. Um, if you have the other style, I do not have any older lenses to show you, but if you did, then you would simply unscrew this from the, re uh, the flange and then use a screwdriver to remove the flange from the lens board, <clears throat> put it on the new one, and you're good to go. Hopefully that helps you get started with your new enlarger or uh, with your new large format camera. So get out there and start making some photographs and make some prints. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will keep making more videos. If you actually have a topic that you would like to see covered, then leave uh, comments or email me directly, and I'll see if there's something that I can do um, and try to get topics that are important to you. So I've got a pretty good list of things that I want to cover, but I'm always happy to accommodate if there's a good idea out there. So let me know. 